Hello friends, today I'm going to solve lead code problem number 238, product of array except self. In this problem, we are given integer array nums and we need to return an array of answer such that the value at a given index is equals to the product of all the elements of the nums array except the element itself. So here in this example, we have an array nums which has values 1, 2, 3, 4. So the output is an array where the value at index 0 is equals to the product of all the elements except the value at index 0 which is 1. So we have the value equals to the product of 2 times 3 times 4. So that is equals to 24. Similarly at index 1 we have the product of 1 and 1 3 4. So that's except 2. So that is equals to 12 and similarly at given this index which is equals to 2 we have the product of all the elements except this which is 3. So that would be 2 times 4 times 1 which is equals to 8 and so on for the last element. So now we are also given here that the product of any prefix or suffix is guaranteed to fit within 32 bit so basically here we have already been given a hint to how to solve this problem and we are also said that we can solve it in o of n time complexity and we are not allowed to use division operation okay so if we were to solve it using division operation then it would have been easier okay so let's take an example let's suppose we have two three four five okay this is an example so if this was an array and if we were to use division method then what we could do is we could just take the product of all of these elements so that would be equals to 120 and then for each index that is for index 0 we can just divide it by 2 the product total product by 2 so that would give us 60 and then next in in the integer next index we can divide it by 3 so that would give us 40 and next value we, we would get 30 and the last value would give us um, division by 5 so that would give us 24 okay so this would have been our result but we are not allowed to use division operation so how could, do we solve we are going to solve it using prefix and suffix uh, pr products so using prefix and suffix so how are we going to solve it using prefix and suffix so what are we gonna do is starting from this index that is index 0 we are going to find all the pr pr product of all the prefix and product of all the suffix okay so for index 0 what do we have for its prefix let's first calculate the prefix uh, product okay and then we will find the suffix product array so both of these will be an array okay so for prefix for this index what's before it it's nothing right so basically nothing means we are just going to have a one value one and now for this index what do we have in its prefix we have two right so only one element so that would be our prefix for index one next for this index we have we already have the value we have these two values right so we are going to take the product of two and three so that would give us six and for the last element we are going to take the product of these three values which is equals to 24 now we want the suffix so for suffix uh, we have two so we need the product of all of these three so that would be five times four which is equals to 20 times three is equals to 60 right so we got 60 next for this index uh, the prefix uh, the suffix are four and five so the product would be four five the 20 and then for this index we have only one element which is a suffix so that is equals to 5 and the for 5 we do not have an element so that would be equals to 1 now we have the prefix and our suffix our result um, array would be now now that we have our prefix so let's take this element okay let's take this index and that would be index 
1 right so the value here is 2 and 20 so what's happening is prefix has the product of all the elements before this right and suffix has the product of all the elements after that so basically that is except 3 right so if you multiply the uh, value of all prefix with a suffix then we get our result right so that's what we are going to do so for index 0 we multiply both the values which gives us 60 for index 1 we multiply 2 with 20 we get 40 for index 2 we multiply 6 and 5 we get 30 and for last element we multiply both of them and we get 24 so that's our answer so that is how we get our result okay now how do we find our suffix and prefix here what i did was i was to find the prefix of four i was multiplying two with three right but if you could would look at this solution this array as we were building this array to find the prefix for this index which is at index 2 that is index 4 what we have is we already have the prefix for prefix product for all the elements uh, for index one right so we have the product of for all in uh, we have the prefix product for index one so we just to find the prefix product for index four we are just going to multiply three with this value this is already the prefix product for this one so uh, that would just give us the result 6 and similarly to find the prefix product for this index what we can do is we multiply 6 with 4 that gives us 24 right similarly for suffix also what are we going to do is we are going to start from the end and we are going to move uh, forward so that is how we are going to solve this now this in this case we are going to we will get the time complexity of o of n but our space complexity also becomes o of n so is it possible for us to reduce the space complexity yes it is how because like instead of creating a prefix met, uh, array and a suffix array, array we can just create our result array and use it for both prefix and suffix product so what we do is for uh, as we create our prefix the same way we are going to create uh, our result as well uh, so this this basically gives us our prefix product now to find the suffix product what we do is we are going to start from the end and we just multiply um, all the suffix product so we are also going to use a variable prod and assign it a value one so uh, so that we uh, we can keep track of the continuous uh, products okay so uh, starting from end the suffix product of the last value is equals to one so what we do is we just multiply one with 24 so we are modifying this array so the last element is still okay i'm just going to modify it over here so it would still be 24. now for this index here we have the value six and here we have the product one so now what we do is we we take the product we update the product by multiplying it with the next value so that gives us value five now we update this index value by multiplying six with five so that gives us 30. similarly for this one now what we do is we update our product and now this becomes equals to um a five times since the value was already five five times the current index which is four so five four is a 30 right and here we get the value 2 now 2 2 we are going to multiply with this product so that gives us 60 so basically this is storing our suffix suffix product and next for the first element okay i went wrong here this is equals to 20 because 5 times 4 is equals to 20 right so 20 times 3 gives us equals to okay let me just
yeah so this was a suffix product so 20 this is 20 because we are getting the suffix of 3 right which is 4 times 5 so that gives us 20 and 20 times 2 is 40 so that would be 40 over here not 60 that was my bad now next we update our suffix product because we are evaluating for our first index so for that we multiply it by 3 so that gives us equals to 60 and then with the suffix product we multiply it with our first element in our result that gives us equals to 60 so this is how we finally get our result and we have solved this in a constant space complexity and time complexity is linear okay so this is how we can optimize our solution now let's try to code this solution with the optimal solution that we got so let us first define our result array which will be an empty array let us also define our product uh, which is equals to um okay so this would be a suffix product which is equals to one and now let us first find our prefix okay so let uh, num of nums okay what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to start from index i equals to zero it's less than nums length plus plus and then here uh, the first element should be equals to so this should start from one and the first element is always one in our result right the suffix is always one so we're starting from one and now from index one we, we need this product right prefix product so result dot push and we are going to push to our result result at index i minus one times nums um, at index i minus one okay so what are we doing here is um so basically prefix the result now we are creating is our prefix array so in our prefix array we are just um, multiplying the previous prefix with our previous value okay to find the current prefix okay so previous prefix with the previous value to find the current prefix okay and similarly six times four to find the current prefix over here so that is how we will find our prefix now using the suffix product we are going to uh, update our results starting from the end so i equals to um and as you would know the last element will have suffix product equals to one so basically um we are still going to start from the end minus one i is greater than equals to zero and i minus minus as we are moving forward so now to result at index i which will be equals to result at um, um so basically we are actually going to start from the second last position okay why second last because the last element doesn't have any suffix value so basically the prefix value itself is the result so that's why and our result would be equals to um the rest of the value would be equals to result at index i and to that we are going to uh multiply our suffix product but here we need to update our suffix product okay and that would be equals to product times equals to um, nums at index i plus one right because our suffix product here we did not uh, find our suffix product for last element but now for second last element that would be equals to the suffix product current suffix product which is equals to one times um the 
previous uh, element right which was equals to the next element which is 5 similarly to find the suffix product for this uh, index what we do is our current suffix product which is equal equals to 5 times next which is 4 right that gives us 20 so this will give us our result and we are going to return our result okay let's try to run this code great let's submit this now awesome so here we were able to solve this problem in of and time complexity and constant space complexity by just using uh, our result array to store our prefix and uh, multiplying the suffix uh, to our result so i hope you liked my solution let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching till the end please like and subscribe to my channel